Let's simplify the fraction 25 75 And here's how we'll do it. What we're trying to do is find another fraction that's equivalent, has the same value as 25 divided by 75. It's just that we have it in lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 25 and 75. So these are the factors for 25 and 75. So I look at the factors of 25 and 75, and I see the greatest common factor. There's five and five, but we also have 25 and 25. So if we divide 25 by 25 and 75 by 25, we'll have simplified 25 75 Let's move these over here. So 25 divided by 25, that gives us one. And then 75 divided by 25, that gives us three. So we've simplified 25 75 down to one third. We can't reduce this any further. These are equivalent fractions. One divided by three, 25 divided by 75, you get the same number. We've just simplified 25 over 75 down to one third. If you didn't know that 25 went into 75 three times, you could have divided 25 by five, then 75 by five, and you'd have 3 fifteenths, which you could reduce down to one third, a little bit easier. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.